Hello guys, I'm Julie V and welcome to this tutorial on how to add names for your creator sims randomizer and names for new townies in The Sims 4. If you get bored of the names that your game provides or if you just want new ones, you can use this uh, tutorial to add whatever names you like. You will need a few tools to do this. The first one is Velocity Grass's data file tool. I will provide the download link in the description. The download page is from Mother Sims and it looks like this. This is what the tool looks like and you will basically have to click here to download the full version. It's a zip file. You will have to use the program called 7-Zip to unzip this. If you do not use 7-Zip, but I don't know, WinRAR or any other tool to unzip it, it will not work. I don't know why, but you really have to use 7-Zip. But 7-Zip is free, so that doesn't matter that much. Uh, yeah, if you download 7-Zip and just unzip this file to anywhere you want, and then you can go into the folder and start this tool. You will also need a combined XML and binary tuning extractor by Scumbumbo. You, I will also provide that link in the description and the download page is also from Mother Sims and looks like this. And you will have to click here to download the version that you need. Um, this one is a raw file, so you will need WinRAR to extract that, but Win WinRAR is also free, so that's all right. If you don't have WinRAR yet, just download it and you can extract this file. Also, extract it to wherever you want. It's basically just one file. Yeah, and another tool you will need is S4PE. It's also a Sims 4 tool. Um, you can download that here. I will put the link in the, the description. And um, you will have to download this zip file here. And you also have to use 7-zip to unzip this one. Otherwise, it will not work. Um, again, I don't know why, but just use 7-zip and you'll be on the safe side. Now, uh, what you have to do is open the combined XML and binary extractor that you downloaded. It will look like this. You will want to do a full automatic extract from game folder packages. You just have to select your game folder. This is where your Sims 4 game is installed, not where your save files are. So uh, be sure you get the right path here. And then you just choose some output folder. It doesn't matter just extract it to somewhere. I created a folder called Sims 4 Resources for that purpose. Then you click Extract and it will take a while until all the files are extracted. When you have extracted all the files, you will have to go to this folder where you extracted it. Go to BG, which, which is for base game then navigate to a folder called ton. And now you will see tons of files which have tons of names and you will have to look for a file called this. Don't worry, I'll put that in the description. You don't have to type that off my screen. Um, this is the file you have to look for. So just search in the folder. Yeah, this is the file you'll need. Um, just copy this file somewhere else. I don't know, to your desktop, it doesn't matter. Just copy it somewhere which is not this folder. When you did that, um, you will want to open that file in a text editor and it will look somewhat like this. Now, depending on which language you have in your game, um, you'll want to locate your language. Um, I'm German, so we are going to look for German, but you can also look for English. Let's look for English. I don't know why English is not in this list, because there are actually English names in this file here. 
there are English names. I'm not sure why, it, why it's not in this list. Um, anyway, let's just pretend that I was English and we are going to look for English. There we have it. Um, names English. There you will have a list of female first names which is pretty long because this is English. Let's just pretend we are Dutch. We'll pretend we're Dutch because the list for Dutch is uh, shorter than the one for English, but it works the same for any language. Just press Control F to access the search tool and type in your language name and you'll find the list. Now it should be pretty easy to add new names to this one, so just put a T, like just put your name in like this at the end of the list. So just let's add a new name here, like this, T, and I don't know what name, whatever name you like, it's put mine, Julia. And now you have added a new female name. It works the same for last names and male first names. So now you have added a new name to the CAS randomizer. Um, then you'll save the file and we will use that later to package it and make a mod. But now, for now just save it and remember where you saved it. Now this only is for the CAS randomizer but you'll also want new names for generated townies because they don't use the CAS randomizer files for whatever reason. You'll have to do that differently and you'll have to open S4PE which looks like this. Then you will have to open a new file and you will basically have to navigate to your game folder where your Sims game is installed. Then you'll go to data, client, and you will choose this file, the first one, client delta build zero package. Choose this and open it. Yeah, this worked. Um, now you have a lot of stuff in there, but we only need one file from here. So we want to set a filter to find it. Um, which is a tag data. Put a click this box to enable it. And the instance is this. I'll also put that in the description so you can copy it. The instance will paste that here. I hope. Yeah, we'll paste that here. And then you put filter active. I don't know why it minimizes that all the time. And then you click set, so it will activate the filter. And uh, yeah, then you have uh, the data you need right here. Then you click file. Um, no, that wasn't it. Um, you right click on this, choose export to file, and just export it somewhere. Don't change the name, just export it anywhere you want. Um, just not th not this folder, a different one. Maybe your desktop or my documents, I don't care. Just remember where you saved it, but choose a different folder than this one. Now, if you have that, you will need to open it with the data file tool that you downloaded. So this is the data file tool. And yeah, this is where I saved my file. So you'll open that. It will take a while, I think, to load. Yeah, so this is the file. Um, again, you'll have to look for your language key. Here is the uh, local string. Um, this is DEDE -D -E for German, ENUS for English, ES, ES for Spanish, um, French, whatever language you have, you'll probably know your local key. If you don't know it, Google it, but those are pretty obvious too. Now, um, let's pretend 
uh, let's say I'm German, so um, you'll have to remember this one. It's basically a string of many zeros and one other number at the end. Uh, you, you'll have to remember that last number, so we'll remember that German is 7. There are also letters like Polish is C. Oh, we'll remember 7 for now. So now you have to scroll down. Sadly, there is not a search function here. And you'll have to look for your number to show up here. This is number 4. It's not number 7, so we'll go keep scrolling. It's number 5. Number 6. Yeah, you catch my drift. Just keep scrolling until you find it. Um, let's just pretend we were number 6. Number 6 is... Um, oh yeah, it's uh, Dutch. Okay, let's uh, pretend, pretend we're Dutch again. So this is number 5. And here, number 6, we're Dutch. So uh, now you've found your language. And yeah, this part is actually pretty boring you will have to add names one by one. There is no way to just copy paste names or batch edit the entries. You'll just have to clone this and again and again and again. And you do that how many times you want to add a name. You clone an entry and then you double click it to edit it and add a new name. And then with the tab key, you press the tab key to go to the next entry and add another name. No, that's females. Um, yeah, whatever names you like, you, you catch my drift. It's a bit annoying that you'll have to do that one by one, but there is seriously no other way. You can also have add last names in this list or male names here. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Um, when you're finished, save, save the file and um, remember where you saved it. So now you uh, will want to create a new file in S4PE. Click File New. So you can actually use this as a mod for your game. We will have to package the two files that we edited. So um, go to wherever you saved the file, like I saved it here and just drag and drop this into S4PE. It will prompt you to do a lot of stuff, but change nothing. Just click OK. And um, then the other file that we edited, grab it and put it in here. Again, change nothing. Just click OK. And uh, yeah, to make sure that this works, um, you'll have to check these type group and instance values. The correct values are here. Again, I will put them in the description. If you notice that the values are different in your S4PE, just double click the entry and change it yourself to make sure that these are the values that you have. Now, if everything is all right, just um, click File save as and um, save the package to your mods folder. It's in My Documents, uh, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4 Mods, and uh, just give it any name you want. Um, for example, new names. I won't do that now because I already have it, but then just click save and restart your game. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you add new names to your Creator Sims randomizer and for new townies. This mod will only apply to newly generated townies. Townies you already have in your game will not change their names just because you install this. So you'll have to wait a while for new townies to be generated. Um, the new names will apply to them. Uh, yeah, all I can say is um, don't use this mod or don't create this mod if you already have a mod that adds new names for casts or new townies because it will mess with the mod that you have. So only do this if you don't have a mod for new names yet.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to create new names for your game. And I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.